Welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this video, I am going to start. So, what is that list collection type in Python? What is it? List collection collection in Python. Here, this is like one data structure algorithm implementation. As we know that for every application, it is mandatory to store and process the information. See, while storing the information, if you structure the data, so later we can access more effectively, as we know that, what is the importance of data structures and all. Here it is Python providing predefined implementations to structure the information. The four collection types given, as a mainly used collection types called list, tuple, set, dictionary. We start with the first collection is called a list. So, what is that list? First one is a list is an ordered collection. List is an ordered collection is nothing but in which order, in which order we are inserting the elements in the same order elements will be displayed. In the same order elements will be processed. So, parallel, I will show you the things practically. So, I am opening that IDE. So, that is official IDE called IDLE and here it is we are checking just how we are representing a list. Suppose here it is uh, we, uh, we are taking just list name A equal to here we are representing with the square brackets all elements like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We are printing directly in a simple way just print of A all the elements will be displayed in which order we are inserting the elements in the same order elements will be displayed. And here a list can able to store a duplicate elements as well as a heterogeneous elements also. List can store duplicates and here it is a list can store dissimilar elements, dissimilar elements we can call it as a heterogeneous elements. Right, this is not array actually, simply to say that array is not supported by the python because arrays are static and collections are dynamic we know that. That size will grow and shrinks automatically based on insertions and deletions we have discussed. So, here list can store both means what different types of information we can store into the list. If you check suppose a equal to we are storing like 10. 2.31 float value and again 10 and we are taking something one string called abc we are taking abc. So, whenever we are displaying the elements, whenever we are displaying, so all the elements will be displayed this is. And next here, how can we process the elements of a list? If I want to access an element, if I want to access an element here we can access or we can process elements elements using indexing and slicing indexing and slicing so what is the use of indexing through indexing through indexing we can access access only one element at a time one element at a time that is and one more thing one more thing python supports python supports negative indexing also negative indexing it starts with a minus 1 as i'll show you with a diagram for example we are taking one list we are taking one list a equal to a equal to just 10 20 30 40 50 we are taking like this and how the memory will be allocated for this list is the question. How the memory will be allocated? Here just indexing, generally index starts with a 0. So, this is the index 0 and this is the index 1, 1 if it is a negative value or positive value first index starts with 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 total 5 elements means what up to 4 the index will be present. If it is a negative value in a reverse direction it starts with a minus 1, 
minus 1 and it is minus 2 and it is minus 3 like this up to minus 5 because there is no negative 0. So, negative indexing starts with a minus 1. So, with the help of indexing only we can process elements positive indexing and negative indexing. So, here we are accessing elements here we are just writing a of 1 the first location element is a 20. So, 20 you will get for example, here it is a of minus 1 minus 1 means what is the last element last element is a 50. We can just find the length it is a common function right whatever the object you will pass the length will be displayed if it is iterable. So, that length of the list we are displaying here it is a total 5 elements are there. So, length of a is a 5 here a of just length of a what is the length of a 5 5 minus 1 is a 4. So, here the value of length of a is a 5, 5 minus 1 is a 4, a of 4 means what that last element will display. What is the last element 50? Suppose whenever we are trying to access the element which is out of bounds, for example, here it is length of a, length of a that is 5. So, it is trying to access the element which is in the fifth location. Is it there the fifth location? No, it is not present. So, when we try to execute, you will get error. It will rise an exception. The exception name is what? Index error and the predefined message it is giving clearly list index out of range. So, within the range only we can access the elements. This is okay. So, these are the basic features. These are the basic features of a list collection. So, few important things list is an ordered collection first point. Next one we can store duplicate elements using list and heterogeneous elements also we can store. So, how can we process elements means what through indexing or slicing ok. So, what is slicing how to access elements using slicing and all. So, we will discuss in the next video hope you understood thank you all.